Hey everybody, Jacob Sines here with BestRealtorForYou.com in Mandeville, Louisiana. Um, uh, it's a Sunday. I'm just scouring through some Zillow listings, actually. Um, usually just looking for some FISBOs or for sale by owners, uh, seeing if there's anybody out there that's been on the market for a little bit could utilize a, a realtor to give them some help. Um, but I did learn, you know, I did become aware of something uh, that I really wasn't taking note of before because of the fact that Zillow now has it, they used to have a tab that was specifically just for uh, an, an other tab which uh, led to listings that were for sale by owners or for lease by owners uh, so you could find those pretty easy it looks like Zillow has actually taken that tab away so it's kind of mixing that along with all of the listings in that area which is going to make it extremely hard for any for sale or for lease by owners um, it's, uh, you know, they're just going to get mixed in there with the rest. But that being said, outside of that, I did take note of something else that's really, really important for you guys to know. People that are listing their home or right about to list their home, you're looking or you, you're looking for a realtor or you're going to be interviewing a couple of realtors to see which one you're going to go with to list your home. Um, this is a very, very important note uh, to to make a mental note and make sure you know this because uh, it is actually kind of frightening. Um, but you know, a lot of people think there's one MLS and about a year, year and a half ago, that, that's not the case anymore. Um, there is two MLS uh, MLSs in the area for Greater New Orleans. Um, there is a second MLS. Of course, you've got the first one, I should say, is Jezrin. That's the first one. That's the main MLS that everybody's been on forever. Um, to this day, 99% of the properties are on that. Um, but the second one that they have out there is Greater Southern MLS. And, uh, you know, that's an option for some realtors. If they want to do that, that's great. Um, I guess there's supposed to be some benefits with that. Jizren has, um, you know, their boundaries are a little bit more limited, whereas I believe um, the Greater Southern MLS is trying to encompass more of the state um, you know, so you're able to, 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 to have a broader audience, right? And the argument would be that, um, for the most part, if you're selling a home in Mandeville, is someone out in Shreveport necessarily looking in Mandeville, you know, who knows, you know, whatever that argument is. But that aside, there have been real, uh, brokerages that are utilizing both and that, is smart great that's what they want to do utilize both they want to make sure they're covering a wide net and capturing anything and everything that they can great all the more to them but one of the things that's really frightening is i'm seeing uh more and more that the few that are listing with the greater southern mls they're not listing within jizren and that's a big disservice to their client i believe because at the end of the day most of everyone is working and, and geared towards the original Jezrin MLS. So if your property, if you have a realtor that is not listing within that main MLS and they're only listing with the greater Southern MLS, my opinion, my belief is that that can be a big issue. If it was my home, I would want it, number one, either listed on the main MLS and as a plus, if they want to list it on Greater Southern, they want to list it on both MLS systems, great. That's only going to benefit me even more. But there's no way that I would trade the main you know, MLS that everybody's using, which is Jezrin, and forfeit my property being shown there to move it over only into Greater Southern. Um, I, my opinion is your net is... A lot smaller um, people aren't seeing that home like they would on the main MLS uh, you know realtors aren't seeing that that that's a big deal you've got realtors that don't you know a lot of realtors are not accessing both they're accessing the main MLS and that is it I'm actually one of those realtors I, I only access the Jezrin MLS um, you know 99.9% .9 is on that uh, you know, you see very few that are only listing within the Greater Southern. So my advice to you is whoever you're getting to list your home, make sure that they are not only utilizing 
the greater Southern MLS, that they're utilizing, if they're only utilizing one, make sure it's Jezrin. If they're going to utilize, you know, greater Southern MLS, make sure they're utilizing both. You need to have that home in the Jezrin MLS. And I hope that doesn't come across as if I'm trying to, you know, say, you know, I'm not trying to spark a what's better, what's this, what's that. It's just factual is, yes, I understand the basis of Greater Southern having a, a wider net and location. But as we know, most realtors are working within Jez or the Jezrin MLS, not the Greater Southern MLS. Um, there could be lots of arguments as to why, you know, it's, it's a newer MLS, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to pick favorites. I'm simply looking at the fact that if I'm selling a home, I would want to be in the widest net possible, which at right now at this point is the Jezrin MLS. And I believe my opinion is it's extremely foolish to only be li uh, listing your, your client's home within the Southern, uh, what greater Southern MLS where the net's going to be smaller and you, it, it's, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So anyways, sellers out there, please take note and heed the warning that you want to cast a wide net. Sure. But you want to make sure that you are not giving up that main net, which is the Jizren MLS. So make sure that whoever is listing your home is listing it properly and capturing as much audience as possible, which I believe is going to be your Jizren MLS. And if they want to go the extra mile and do, uh, you know, and deal with the extra, the, the Southern, greater Southern MLS, hey, all the more power to them. But do not forfeit your right to be in the Jezrin MLS. So hope that helps everybody. That was my thing that I ran across today. And I want everybody to know, uh, be aware. Um, and I hope everybody's having a good weekend. End to the weekend anyways. And have a good one.